For those of you watching in the U.S., a uh, happy uh, fourth weekend. And uh, we're uh, going to talk about Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Episode 9, which is All Those Who Wander after this. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd back from vacation and talking about uh, All Those Who Wander, Episode 9 of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Uh, in this episode, there's an Easter egg right in the first line of the script with uh, Station K-7. This was the space station in the original series that was used during the Trouble with Tribbles. They don't show it in this episode, but they do show something else that we've been wanting to see, which is the Gorn, and especially how the Gorn are bred. Uh, this happens uh, on board uh, the starship Peregrine. Uh, the, uh, the Peregrine was... Um, uh, had to make a forced landing on this planet. Uh, starships do not land well. So their mission was to recover the ship and uh, as much of the crew as they could. This becomes a mashup of two alien movies. Uh, we have uh, the, the darkened, abandoned ship, uh, which uh, our crew is going through and uh, trying to find out uh, what happened to everybody and what happened to it. And uh, uh, they find uh, a little girl about uh, seven years old who has survived, uh, smutty faced, and uh, uh, looks very much like Newt in Aliens. Uh, kind of a um, uh, situation for the doctor where uh, he has uh, recently lost his, um, his daughter to a um, higher plane of existence and uh, uh, as he tries to treat her and uh, others are trying to question her, uh, he basically says, leave my daughter a uh, patient alone. Uh, this is uh, showing that it's still kind of difficult for him uh, in order to deal with uh, the, the changes that have happened since the last episode. There's a couple of good lines in here. Uh, one where uh, Spock is lamenting another human drinking game. It's Pike uses his personal code in order to uh, activate uh, the Peregrine's computer system. Uh, his uh, code is 246810, uh, in which um, the doctor says, still haven't changed that, have you? Uh, a nice uh, line there. Um, it's kind of a horror movie type of setup. Let's have everything dark. Let's split everybody up. Let's put everybody in danger. And uh, let's have someone who is um, somewhat injured and uh, having to deal with that while dealing with bigger fish, if you will. Uh, uh, of course, episode gives an opportunity once again for Hammer and Ahura to be uh, more bonded uh, Uhura has a decision to make. She doesn't know. Uh, she's at the end of her rotation on the Enterprise for her uh, cadet um, uh, tour, and uh, it's now up to her to decide whether she wants to go forward and join Starfleet as an officer or if she wants to go and do something else. Uh, she, unlike everybody on the ship as she sees it, who are there because of their uh, desire to explore, their desire to uh, form this community. Uh, she, on the other hand, uh, seems to want to use it for running away from uh, troubles she had elsewhere and thinks that perhaps she does not belong there, even though in past episodes it's shown pretty well uh, that uh, she has become a, a very valued crew member and has been told that on a number of occasions. Uh, we see a little advancement on Spock and Chapel's relationship of sorts, and uh, how that works itself out explains a lot that happens in the original series, uh, where um, uh, uh, Chapel appears to be just pining after him all the time, and he being very officious and distant. Uh, this explains somewhat uh, how this came about. I thought it was well handled there. All in all, uh, a good entry. Uh, it, it gives some indication of how this crew works together, how the captain uh, uh, handles uh, a landing party detail. Uh, all of this is uh, uh, pretty solid Trek stuff. 
and uh, I, I recommend it to you. We have one more of these episodes coming your way, and we'll have that next week. And uh, afterwards, we will start back with um, the retro reviews of the original series. And uh, as we finish those out, we'll go to Next Generation and on. So uh, that is uh, that is what's uh, in our future. Uh, meantime, please leave comments in the bottom. And if you have not uh, yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Uh, that'll help us out a lot and uh, uh, put us... Um, where we ought to be as far as uh, the channel is concerned. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, don't go far.